Good day everybody, this is Mark Perkins coming to you from Trader24. Today we will be talking about our very useful risk management tool called Guardian Angel. Um, I'm just going to take you through it quickly, quickly, and just to give you an idea of what it's all about. Uh, certainly will assist you for first time traders in terms of coming to grips with how I should be uh, utilizing my, my risk uh, correctly. So firstly, what is it? All right, uh, the purpose of the Guardian Angel system is to provide automatic professional guidance in real time to each trader. The system analyzes your transactions in real time to find systematic patterns in your trading and how they relate to the conditions in the market. The analysis, which takes a few seconds to complete, provides insights about your own trading to help you make high quality decisions over time. All right, so basically you get used to this little toolbar that you'll see here if you're utilizing Web Trader. I'm going to show you basically uh, how to uh, input uh, these various different uh, tools onto both of your platforms. Once you basically are into the actual um, uh, toolbar itself, you'll have various different settings that you can utilize. All right, uh, so the, this, this is all the, the, the subject matter that you can have. If you're a little bit confused about what it is, if you hover your mouse over each of the uh, individual uh, blue question marks, it will explain what that subject is. All right, there is a tutorial available on the website as well. I'm going to take you through a couple of these uh, screens that you'll get used to seeing. The first one is your market sensor, which provides up-to-date volatility measurements of the markets you're trading in, in three different time frames. It also shows you the, uh, the volatility level uh, and where we should look for a stop-loss safe zone in, in pips that is based on current volatility there. All right, so if we have a look at the euro dollar there as an example, uh, you know, it was moderately volatile. Uh, with a, uh, a given stop loss range of about 35 to 51 pips um, in, over the last hour. You can also do this uh, statistics for today, last week, last month. Uh, these are my weekly stats from May 26th to June uh, 2nd. I did five trades, uh, net profit of that versus my net loss. I've also got my daily stats there as well. All right, and then these are the sorts of messages that uh, you will start to receive uh, in the, the, the tool itself, you know, whether it be a, a ranging from, uh, you know, just a, a basic uh, information through to actually stats as well. So if we have a look at the Aussie dollar, uh, you know, I've got a net profit in the last trade of $288, which was higher than my average of $106. Uh, I've done five consecutive trades, fantastic. Now you can obviously set these uh, messages as well, what messages you do want to receive. Uh, so if you just want statistical uh, messages, you can set that as well. Uh, as I've already mentioned, uh, you can have stop loss calculators. Uh, if you're using the Web Trader console, uh, on the left hand side you'll see that you can uh, obviously input uh, your stop loss based on volatility or a risk percentage level. But conversely, on the MetaTrader 4 console, uh, here basically it gives you a great idea of, of where you should be putting your stop losses based on loss size or, or risk percentage or volatility itself. So there's a couple of different ways to utilize it. Uh, highly do recommend it. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly go to both uh, platforms, show you exactly where uh, you would find uh, both of these. Uh, if you're on the a Trader24 homepage, and if you go down to Education and then select Guardian Angel, this is where it would prompt you to download the actual app itself. All right. Uh, first, it tells you exactly what it is, and then you can obviously download it. You know, they're, they're basically, if you have issues with downloading it, uh, you've got troubleshooting as well as the tutorial itself. Um, you know, if you're using a web trader, you should see it at the basis of your screen. And here we do. We do set it down at the bottom here. Uh, my guardian angel, a little uh, tablet where you know we've got access to market sensor, my statistics, my settings, all these various different tools. Uh, for those of you who will be using MetaTrader 4. Let me just get to MetaTrader 4 here. Uh, when I log on to my live account, okay, the actual app itself will also log in. It takes a few seconds to log in, uh, but you'll see it as an icon at the bottom of your uh, toolbar here. So if I just look down at the bottom here, I have uh, this, uh, what looks like a little blue eyes staring back at me. If I basically click on that, uh, it will then obviously uh, give me my, uh, my little box of information that pops up whether it be my market sensor, um, telling me what's happened recently here, versus my calculator, if I want to put in my calculator, there it is there as well. Um, one other important thing here is how do I actually get this thing onto the various different um, instruments. 
Once you've downloaded it, you will find it on the left-hand side under Expert Advisors, and it's called Communicator. So let's just say I wanted to do it on this uh, chart right here. I would basically drag it onto the chart, and uh, I will then select OK. All right, and now on the top right hand corner, you'll see it says Communicator with a little cross next to it. I want this thing to be active, so I'm going to basically go up to Expert Advisors and change, change that to a, a green little icon there. And uh, what we're hoping for is uh, for my com communicator to obviously log on and get going. But that's about it for today, folks. Hopefully you found it useful. Uh, please keep an eye out for the uh, further installments on the educational package. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.